Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Capricorns. And this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves and you're not stressing and worrying about anything. Okay. So, let's see what messages we have for you, Capricorn. I will be using my Guardian Angels Messages Tarot. To clarify, I'll be using my Angel Wisdoms Tarot. So, let's see, Capricorn. So Capricorn, this is for you. The Six of Air, things are calming down in your environment. This is past energy. Relief is in sight or relief came. We got the Page Earth, good news about financial matters. You're very prepared. Use your intuition, the High Priestess. There is no better person to trust than yourself. The Magician, ooh, you're very magical right now. The Queen of Earth, I will say this is you, Virgo. Capricorn, ha! <laughs> or this could be a Virgo or a Taurus in your environment, but this is you. We got the Page of Fire. Creative, enthusiastic, and very motivated. You got a new endeavor at hand, don't you? We got the three of fire. Things are expanding for you. You can make plans for the long term. And for some of you, you might be going on a trip. We got the sun. This is about success and happiness in your environment. And we got the ace of water. Love. Love. Or maybe you need to use your intuition. So let's see. <clears throat> the six of air. So, on top of the Six of Air, we have the Strength card. Oh, my nose. We have the Seven of Air, and we got the Lovers. Now, the Lovers making choices of the heart. Or this could be a Gemini in your environment. We got the Strength. Things calm down in your environment. I don't exactly know what happened, but you found your inner strengths. Whatever it was that made you lose your peace of mind, I say it's over. It might have had something to do with love, and it might have had something to do with a Gemini. Only you know. Remember, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. No, I always send you these messages with my heart, darling. With my heart, darlings. <laughs> we got the strength card, we got the seven of air, and we got the lovers. Choices of the heart, or possibly a Gemini. 
the page of earth on top of the page of earth this is about good news about um finances manifesting things right now well not right now in the past <laughs> it seemed like you had a lot of things you were working very hard and you i mean like tired you got a lot of things you're juggling it's just so much to do we got the emperor this could be an aries in your environment now this energy could be a, um a father figure someone that you speak to someone that you tell your your worries to um it's not necessarily romantic or it could be that you're feeling pretty stable and logical and everything is balanced right now then you got the king of water and the king of water could be a pisces a cancer a scorpio in your past or this could be you feeling balanced. You got the two of earth, the emperor, emperor, and the king of water. So the two of earth, the emperor, and the king of water above the page of earth. Now, I don't know if you were talking to them. Maybe you were feeling a little off balance and then you, talk, you chatted with someone to feel, you know, to let them know what was going on. And, and after you spoke with them, you felt better. Use your intuition. You're very focused on the financial part of it, which is fine. There's a lot of abundance around you. You got good fortune. You're very focused on the details. Whatever it is you're studying or whatever it is you're concentrating on, you're extremely focused. And you got good fortune on your side, babies. And you got the empress, which is about abundance. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition, okay? The eight of earth, the wheel of fortune, and the empress, abundance. Now we got the magician over here. You magical. Wait, Capricorn. Oh, we got the king of water. We got the renewal card, and we got the eight of air. You're lacking some self-confidence about something and it makes you feel kind of helpless. You're afraid to take action about something in your environment here, something going on in your life. It could have something to do with love. We got the night of um, the night of water coming in here. Usually that's about romance and being flirtatious and things like that. Maybe a sudden love affair. Or maybe there's a lack of balance in your relationship. The next card was the renewal card. And the renewal card is just telling you to go within and you will be able to solve all the problems that you need to solve. Go within and do some work. Do some forgiveness. Forgive you, forgive others, and start feeling revitalized. Stop carrying that heavy load on your shoulders and stop worrying. There's no need to worry, darlings. And the eight of air, whatever situation you got yourself in, you can get yourself out of it, okay? You can it's nothing that you can't do. You got the Knight of Water, you got the Renewal card, and you got the Eight of Air. Above the Magician, don't forget you're magical. Anything is possible. And then here we go, the Queen of Earth, Capricorn, in all her glory. We got our... Now, okay, so the Masculine and the Feminine, the Kings and the Queens. The queens are usually the, our inside, you know, what's going on within. And the kings are, you know, the outer part, you know, the, what, the action part, I guess. You know, the emotional and the action part. So, we have the nine of earth. We got the king of earth. This could be you making a good um, business decision, a great time for success for you. Or this could be another earth energy in your environment. Uh, it could be another Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus. And something to do with this, but this energy makes you feel sad. It's brought a broken heart here. It made you feel sad. What happened? We have the Nine of Earth, we have the King of Earth, and we got the Three of Air. And usually the Three of Air is about sadness, but a lot of times it's about someone else being involved. So only you know the situation. The Nine of Earth, the King of Earth, and the Three of Air. However, <clears throat> you got to create a new opportunity around you or it just came about or it's coming. You are above whatever challenges you faced here. You are way above them, okay? Choose your battles wisely and stand up for yourself. Stand your ground. Now, you don't have to stand there angry now, okay? 
You got the king of air and then you have the seven of water. Now the king of air, maybe you just need to communicate to this person really clearly and you know, let them know exactly how you feel about whatever is going on. Don't keep it inside, okay? Talk about it. Uh, you got some choices here. Now, the king of air could also be uh, energy, air energy in your environment. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. And whatever it is, you got to make a choice. There's a choice you need to make, and you got to stop procrastinating and over overanalyzing things. I know you do your research. I know you do your research. So if you need to do research, do your research. You got the seven of fire, the king of air, and the seven of cups. Then we have the three of fire. On top, the three of fire, which is expansion and growth and moving forward and making plans and being able to make plans for the future. You got the six of earth, you got the page of earth, and you got the two of fire. So the good you do will come back to you no matter what. You have balance here. The six of earth. You got the page of earth. An excellent opportunity. An excellent business opportunity that you manifested. Remember your magic. Remember our thoughts manifest things. So always try to make them positive. You know? Keep your eye on your prize. And don't you lose sight of it. You keep going. You hear? Now we're going to have times that things are going to come into our way and they're going to distract us. Because I was trying, um, I know I posted my first six videos and then I was going to go ahead and do Scorpio. And <laughs> I usually put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Now mind you, I made, I think, six videos, no interruption. I thought I had it on Do Not Disturb. As soon as I go to do Scorpio, I'd gotten up for a minute just to take a break. And as soon as I go to do Scorpio, boop, one call came in. So it cut the recording off. So I had to start over again. Start it again. Same thing happened. Distractions. Distractions, distractions, distractions. Things come to distract us from our purpose. Okay? So we got to push through that. And you got two paths that you can follow. You can take the next steps. They're very bold and ambitious choices. And you're partnering up. There's some kind of partner partnership with someone. With someone who shares the same dreams that you have. You have the six of earth, the page of earth, and the two of fire. And then we got the sun card. The sun card. On top of the sun card, we have the awakening card, we have the balance card, and we have the page of fire. The awakening card is about being at a temporary standstill. Um, it's like nothing is moving right now for you for some reason. And I think the reason why is because you need to find some balance and you need to have a little patience. Okay, maybe you're expecting things to happen this fast. All right, just breathe. Things will happen. Everything happens the way it's supposed to happen. Everything happens in divine timing. So be patient. And then you got the page of fire, very enthusiastic. So whatever this opportunity is coming to you, you're going to be very enthusiastic. You're, you're allowing your creativity to soar. And you need to finish the things you start, okay? Don't start something and then leave it off. Keep going, okay? We got the awakening card. We got the balance. You need to find some balance. And then we have the page of fire. You need to have some patience as well. Okay, everything will work out, okay? Just trust yourself, trust yourself, trust yourself. Don't trust these cards. They aren't etched in stone. Anything can change, okay, babies? Anything can change. Anything. Trust you. We got the Ace of Water. On top of the Ace of Water, we got the Chariot. We got the Nine of Water. And we got the Six of Air. Something coming in fast. Your wishes are coming true, baby. Your dreams are coming true. 
It's a magical time for you where this love is concerned. This love is a good love. Oh, and it's above the ace of water. And whatever has been going on, whatever decision you had to make, things are starting to calm down in your environment. You got the chariot, you got the nine of water, and you got the six of air. Hmm. You're experiencing a new, a beautiful, new emotional feeling. Happy family. But you're failing to realize the magic that surrounds you. There's some kind of discontent. You need to wake up and see all the beautiful things around you. You got a happy family. And then we got the ace of water here. Now this is a whole new emotional, a beautiful emotional experience you're going through. A romantic relationship or the deepening of the relationship. And for some of you, you might be moving into a new home. You got the four of water, the ten of cups, and you got the ace of water and the star card whatever it is keep your eye on the prize don't you let go a lot of times we give up before we get just before we get there we give up don't give up you keep your eye on that prize and you keep moving forward okay the star card she's really beautiful she says, have faith in the future. Your future is bright. Your dreams come true. Positive change that brings an end to a challenging situation. So things do work out. You know, life is up and down. It's how we handle those down moments that's important. Sometimes when we go down, we end up staying down there too long and we get trapped. We don't want to do that to ourselves anymore. We want to raise ourselves up. We're going to raise up our vibrations and we're going to raise the vibrations of everyone around us. I love you, darlings. I want you to take care of yourselves and love yourself, okay? Whatever healing you need to do, darlings, heal. Oh my goodness, sometimes it's so difficult looking in side, you know, looking within and looking at the past traumas and stuff, you know, but look within. It'll make you feel a whole lot better regardless of what's going on. I love you, darlings, and we definitely will chat later.